is sponsored by Virtue Soap Company. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Where it is foggy as heck, how come? This side windows are good, but your side windows are not good. It's the way it rolls. It's the way it rolls, you guys. Anyway, uh, welcome to today. If you guys are thinking it looks dark and dreary and early as heck, you're right. Because Chino needs a shoe and it's really hard to get the farrier. Not hard to get the farrier, like our farrier is really good. He comes from far because he's so good. And he is such a good farrier, he's really busy. And so we just make plans and we just try and accommodate his schedule. Anyway, we got everyone. We're here. We are racing to the barn. It's just the easiest time that the farrier could come. I call him on Monday. It's only Thursday, so that's really good. In our area, farriers, farriers are like so super busy, so super especially ours because he comes from far away if he was local both of our farriers have we've only ever had two and they've come from far away but anyway welcome to today we're going to the barn see our horses i don't know why but i'm excited for today are you excited for today it's too cold i know where's your coat it's, it's over here. are you excited for today sure <laughs> she's like i will get excited after i get coffee yeah so we're headed to get coffee are we headed to get coffee yeah, it's 701 we have to be there at 8. At 7.45, actually, so that we can catch the horses. So, yeah, we've got time for coffee. It is cold this morning, you guys. Here comes Fiddy. Do you guys see him? He's trying to get hay. We got some hay. Look how pretty it looks. It, with the frost on the ground, it almost looks like winter. It's gorgeous. Oh, he sees his boy, his girl. So does Chino. Oh, that's not Chino. Oh, yeah, he sees too. Anyways, we're going to have to put their blankets on. What's the temperature going to be today? Warm. Like but it's going to rain tomorrow. Only 13? 10. 10 today? All right, they're getting their blankets on. Give me love, give me all your love, oh, cause I want you. It's freaking cold. It's freaking cold. It's so cold, you guys. It's supposed to pour rain tomorrow, so we're gonna put the horses' blankets on now because we won't be back. I love this. So he's getting rid of us. So this is what he did last year when we came at this time. We came at this time last year. Oh no, we came a little earlier. But anyway, he gets rid of all this stuff. So he like empties the stalls there, and then he gets rid of it. You're getting a shoe on, Mr. Magoo. Got, uh, they, need salt licks, so. they need salt licks? This makes me sad that they get pushed off the hay so much. What is that? Why do you have bite marks on you? All right, Finny is done. Faster than a speeding bullet, and now it's your turn, handsome. <laughs> Put his blanket on. This is the kind of horse that anybody would want. He's the puppy dog horse, like a true puppy dog horse. He would be happy just to follow you around, happy to live on his own, in his own little pasture. Just a sweet, sweet boy. A miracle has happened on the Day by Day Farm and I wanted to share it with you guys. Today, somebody, a good friend, sent me a present. And it's this, it's a pink rope halter. I told you guys I have a friend working with me and like explaining things to me about helping Penny and me. And the reason why she's so valuable to me is because she says things in a way that I understand. She's, she's knowledgeable, but she says it in a way that I understand. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying, but basically a lot of horse stuff sounds like Chinese to me and the way she says it makes me understand and she showed me the benefit of a rope halter she doesn't believe in chain halters and when I was trying to load Penny she said I needed to use a rope halter and so I did find one I think it was this one it's red and it was Gabby's and she sent me my own and it's pink and it's special and I love it and thank you so much 
And today I'm gonna walk Penny up on our path and I'm gonna use my new halter. Also, I'm gonna find myself a lead rope that matches it because now I'm obsessed with it. And I was thinking about lead ropes and I was looking them up and this is my favorite lead rope of all times. There's so many different kinds. Some that are made like a vinyl, some that are made of this soft cotton. We have a lot of cotton ones. And this one's like very ropey. But this is so soft. I just don't remember where we bought it from. I think I know though. So I'm gonna try and find a pink one that will match my rope halter that is made of this soft, soft, soft. Let's see if you guys can see it. It's, it's more like material than rope. Does that make sense? It's just soft. Anyway, let's go get my horse with her new halter. And my horse be walking. <laughs> I've been trying to teach her not to run just because everybody else runs. And she's doing it. She's just walking. She's so good. You're so good. See all my training? Hold on, Penny Pickle. Look, Pen, we got our own halter. It's a rope one and she says I can ride her in it too and I'm excited for that. And she's so pretty. I love it. She's so cute. You're so cute, Penny Pickle. Yeah. People have made it seem like horses are so hard and yeah, they are hard. And nobody can understand and nobody could do it unless you're trained for years, but it's simple. It's the same with everything in life. Everything. And now that I get it, I get it. And it took hearing it like so many different ways and having the confidence to go out there and try different ways to really get it, you guys. It's not about teaching your dogs not to run in the horse field. It's about teaching your horses to behave and be confident when there are dogs running in their horse field because you can't have control over everybody's dogs. It's about knowing that you can get your horse in trouble and make them behave without the whole world freaking out. <laughs> yeah, to make your horse behave. Oh, she's wonderful. I'm ready, I'm ready for horses. It's the kids I need a break from. <laughs> They're out there rolling in the grass like fools. So thank you so much for sending me such a beautiful gift. One that I will cherish forever and is special to my heart because it comes from you and because it's pink. <laughs> I love pink. Good girl, Pen. You did so good out there. She's such a good horse. All along I just needed to know the rules. And the rules are the same as parenting. Be the boss, be kind, but be consistent and be firm. Be the boss, but be kind, be consistent and be firm. Those are the rules for horses. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for being such a good girl for me, Penny Pickle. And that's why I'm giving you a treat. Okay, and I'm giving your friend a treat because we share. We are a sharing family. Don't you be mean. Today is an exciting day and it might just be a rope halter to you, but it is a sign of me finally taking charge and being able to be responsible and competent. I went out there today and just walked my horse like it was nothing because I learned that it's me that has to be in control and in charge and not put up with any crap. And yeah, I'm ready to start riding here, you guys. So you guys are probably wondering, what the heck does a soap company have to do with horses? A Virtue Soap Company makes soap for you, for your dog, and for your horse. What I really love about all of their soaps is they're vegan and all natural. So no matter how big or small your pet is, Virtue Soap Company makes gentle formula soap that's awesome for sensitive skin and will leave your pet's coat shiny and conditioned. I really love that and I know you guys do too, but what I really love more than anything is the smell. So um, Gabby is dying to try our soap for us. It's called Lavender Bud Oatmeal, and it's supposed to leave your skin feeling so super soft. But what's exciting about it is that they come with these little tiny bags. You can pop your soap right inside the bag, and it's almost like an, an exfoliant for your skin. Like a soap on a rope, you guys. This Citronella Lavender Soap for our horse is super cool. It comes with this beautiful little strap and string 
So you're able to use it and then hang it and let it dry. Basically, it's like a bar of soap for your horse and you take it and you wet it and you lather it all on your horse and then you rinse it off. For the dogs, we got chamomile oatmeal. All amazing smelling soaps. Yeah. Which one is your favorite scent? This one. You love that one? What one's that? The human one. The human one. Lavender bud oatmeal. Oatmeal is so good for your skin. Which one do you like, Sophie? First of all, this is super cool. Oh, I and love. Once, once we're done with the soap, I'm keeping the container. Yeah, the bags are so super cool. It smells like horse. This is citronella, and did you guys know that citronella is really good at keeping bugs away? The citronella one is my favorite as well. I think we're really going to love the horse one, being able to just wash them and hang their soap to dry. And knowing that there are no harmful additives in our soap for our horse is going to be, is going to make me feel really good. Sometimes our horses get really itchy in the summer, and sometimes I think it's because of all the product that we use when we're going to shows. So I'm super excited that these are all natural and vegan. This company doesn't just sell soap, which is really cool. They also sent us their brush blaster. So what this is, is a cleaning th block that you drop in a bucket of warm water and you throw all your brushes in it. And then once it's done, fit, once it's done fitting, you rinse your brushes and they're done. And apparently it's super magical. I've heard other people use this before and they say that it is incredible for cleaning brushes. And I had just cleaned brushes recently and it is not that fun. So I'm excited to try this out. They don't just sell this, they sell so many other products. But what's super cool is that Virtue Soap Company is going to give away a basket of their amazing products for you, your pet and your horse to one lucky viewer. It is such a beautiful basket. Uh, it has so many products. I looked and it has the brush blaster on it, which I'm so excited to try. And it has a whole bunch of beautiful, amazing products from them. So if you're interested in trying them, then go ahead and head over to Instagram, like, um, take three friends on our post and then go over to their page and like their page. Come back and comment done so that I know that you're entered. Personally, I think these products would be perfect for Christmas because they're great. They would make great stocking stuffers and they'd be great for the hard to buy equestrian person. You know how everybody gets together for Christmas and everybody's a normal person and then there's always one equestrian in the group and you never know what to buy them because you, you just don't know what to buy them. Well, this is such a good idea. So thank you Virtue Soap Company for sending us all these products. They're amazing. I can't wait to see which one of you guys are super lucky and wins their, their Christmas basket. Everybody is down here for barn chores. Sometimes we do them in the morning. Sometimes we do them at night. But right now, I'm gonna do Penny. What in the heck were you guys doing out there? Look at, she's all dressed for Christmas. Wait, look. <laughs> that's not good. Hold on. Oh, that's got burrs in it. Oh, got burrs in your hair. I am surrounded by ponies. Hello. These tractors are not fun. I'm going to go for a street side and train my puppy. So you can train your puppy? Okay, so I have a question for you guys. My question is this. Do all horses have a bridle path? Like all riding horses, no matter the discipline. Right, Penny Pickle. So Penny came in and had a good brush because she was dirty. And now she's all clean. And I'm hoping to be able to- I'm the boss of her, have you noticed? You are? Yeah, because she- She stops pinning her ear. She pins her ears at me, but once I get close enough, she stops. She's like, okay. Gabby is the boss. All right, show us. I don't know if she's going to put her ears in. Okay, do it. Do it. Okay, here comes Gabby. Aww. So you do it. She just wants kindness. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> she's a little spooky today. Are you guys having a part? Are you guys having a party without me? Gabby's going to drive the tractor? Oh my gosh, she's gotta be driving everything in this house. Yeah. She's driven the tractor before. Yep. We should go on a wagon ride. I miss it. Closer, I wanna stay here with you. Although we have